And I was seeing uh, at the end of that, I know we're getting prepared, Lord. I thank you that this will be one of those places, uh, a place of preparation for the things ahead. That you'll equip us to do the things we're called to do, Lord. It was like I saw a picture of all of y'all out in your pots of uh, fruit trees and other kind of trees planted in these pots. But God is uprooting those pots. It might be a difficult march or this the rest of this year that he's pulling you out of some of those situations because your roots, your spiritual roots would not grow enough. He's planting you in a better field this year. Some of you quickly, he'll, he'll do it quickly. It'll be a pain for a second and he'll replant you in a fertile soil for his kingdom work. Lord, let us be replanted into the things of God. So the fruit of God, the fruit of the Holy Spirit will grow strong in us. We can have the gifts of the Holy Spirit and come with prophecy, but we need to be flowing in the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Lord, saturate us with the love of God, the, the agape love that only you can put in us. Let it seep down in this room every week. Uh, even while we're gone, through this whole strip mall here, let it just touch people. The love of God is what touches people. So let us move in the gift of prophecy, the word of knowledge, word of wisdom, the gift of miracles, the word of faith, Father. But let us move in the word of love. Let us love the unlovable. Let us love our yes. husbands, our wives. Let us love our family. Yes, Lord. Teach us, Lord. But Lord, we need an impartation of that love. That we need you to saturate us. To cut off everything off of us. The Lord, I sense it's a time of pruning, too. Mm -hmm. That as you move the plants and as you replant us, you'll be pruning the lower limbs, Father. Yes. Because some of us have been holding on to the things of the world. Yes. We've been letting our limbs be dragging in the world stuff. Yes. So trim us back, Lord, so we won't yes. be yes. pulled down by the world's things anymore. Let our limbs go high and praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Lord, I see a bunch of buzzards and things coming to our trees. But Lord, I thank you that the holy angels are going, even now, before you plant us in the place, we'll have... Holy guardian angels around our trees so we can develop. We can become the men and women of God you've called us to be. This is not a time you're going to have to worry about finding God. God's going to find you. And He's going to take you to the place you need to go. This is the time you've been looking for, says the Lord. It's a time of newness and freshness. All the heaviness will be gone and I will bring joy unspeakable. Full of glory that you can walk in my ways and my power. This is the time you've been looking for. This is a season of new beginnings. As the world goes deeper in the, into the hell hole, I'll bring you up higher into the heavens and let you see the things of heaven. As my Father speaks down to me, I'll speak it to you. And the things in heaven will come on earth and things will be changed in an instant, in a moment. God's power will be coming forth to show the world that I'm real, says the Lord, because I'm going to use you, but you'll be my mouthpiece. You'll be my hands. You'll be my feet. So get ready. Get out of the beds. Get, get, get out of the open. Get out in the fields and let me just shower you with blessings. I will remove all the things that hinder you. Do not hold fast to the things of this world, the homes, the cars, the monies. Because they'll mean nothing in years ahead. Yes. Only my spirit and my power yes. and the word that I speak through you will make a difference in the end times. So I'm speaking healing over you to get you ready. The next month here I'll speak healing and I'll bring you forth wherever you go to church. I'll bring healing into your life. So you'll be ready. I'm cutting deep. You don't have to work, worry about the mark of the beast. I'm giving you my mark tonight, says the Lord. I'm marking you for my kingdom, Lord. The mark of the beast won't even come close to you because they'll know you're mine. I will furnish the food. I will feed you with the ravens if I need to. Didn't I feed my children as wandered in the desert with a manna? Won't I feed you when the, the markets are empty? Trust me. This is the time to trust and see. 
Because my glory is coming on you in a way that you have never seen. This is that season if you'll believe. Many people will not look and will not understand, but I'm opening your ears, your spiritual ears tonight even, that I can download the things of God. Lord, make us sponges tonight. Make us sponges tonight and this week. I sense this week, if you have never prayed a lot, pray a lot. This is a sense yes. of, of time this yes. week, in the morning times, over the weekend, over the next yes. week, that yes. be sensitive, get up and pray, go yes. go to sleep late, whatever you pray. Pray and see God. You don't have to say a thing. Let Him download. Get your recorders out. Write the pad. He's going to show you some things. Thank you, Lord. That's a rebel book. That, the revelation of God right there. It is amazing what you know. God wants to speak through us. It's not about a person. It's not going about to be a Billy Graham or or Robert. It's going to be about people just speaking God's word, and they'll go in and out, and nobody will hear their name. But I want to be one of those secret agents for God. The love prophet goes in. <laughs> You know, we do pray. I said I would pray for a lot of people's healing. So, Lord, you don't need me to lay hands on a person. Lord, I speak healing. Because you died on that cross and the blood flowed off of that for our healing. But especially, three days later, you rose from the grave. That's where we got the power for healing. So heal the body tonight. Heal them here as they drive home and they're in the bed. Let them wake up tomorrow. Be totally healed. Lord, we just agree together. Agree together that our limbs and our bodies will come alive in your spirit. Lord, I thank, thank you. Even now, the, the blood of Christ, I, I, I pray that it just symbolically flows over everybody in this room, everybody listening to the audio. Make us whole and healthy, Father, that we have the strength and the power to go do the things you've called us to do. Lord, I claim it. I claim it in Jesus' name for your kingdom glory to come. And I thank you for this night and what you've done. You've changed many hearts and many people tonight. This is a new start. The starting line, we're getting ready to go. You're going to say, go, and we're going to be gone to do your things, Lord, in Jesus' name.